Let's talk photos on Airbnb. I'm going to blow your mind with a fact that I bet you don't know about your own Airbnb listing. A lot of you know that photos matter. Um, a statistic you may not know is that six out of every 10 travelers on Airbnb, the very first thing that they do when they click on your listing is that they just whip through your photos and they're looking at your photos to decide if they wanna stay at your place. They're not even reading your copyright. They're not reading this, the text and the bullet points and all the cool things you're saying about the place. So your photos matter more than the listing description and you, a lot of times even your reviews are secondary to your photos. So one other fun fact, not necessarily important, but Airbnb calls the very first photo that people see the hero photo. And I think they call that the hero photo because it matters so much. And why does your very first photo matter so much? It's because it's the one that really dominates the click-through percentage when somebody sees your listing before actually choosing to inspect it. So people can search on desktop, they can search on mobile, and one of the most popular ones that people search through is using map view. And they're looking at the city and they see all the numbers and stuff and then on the left there's gonna be the scroll wheel of properties and they're gonna see like your prices and your title and maybe a little bit of description and then of course the thumbnail or the hero photo um, and this is largely what drives people clicking on your listing to then go and choose to stay a lot of travelers do choose to look on desktop when they travel and this video is really targeted at maximizing your like clickability and your bookability using the desktop now, here's the thing that I bet you don't know about your own Airbnb listing. When people click on your listing on desktop, not only does the hero photo pop up, but there's four photos to the side that show up as well as kind of like this big overall banner. And then people can scroll through and look at your copywriting, your dates of availability, your prices, your reviews, and all that good stuff. Now, you can control which five photos show up in this banner by just changing the order of your photos as they're listed in your property. Now, a lot of you are making this mistake, which is where you've got your, your thumbnail photo, but then the next photo will be either like kitchen or living room or your bedroom, and then you'll start to do all kitchen photos or all living room photos and go through the house kind of like a home tour or starting with the bedroom, going through all your bedroom photos and doing like a home tour. A lot of, a lot of this makes sense because you're like, you want it to be congruent and people are like, oh, okay, cool, I'm walking through the living room to the kitchen and the photos and going through the house. and in a home tour sense, that makes a lot of sense. But you need to change your photos to have the best five photos go up at the top, otherwise you're really wasting that marketing real estate at the top, right? So, because let's say somebody doesn't flip through your photos and they start to read, right? You want those first five photos, which are obviously gonna be seen to be the best overall depiction of your space. So what five photos do you need? Well, the first, the hero photo, could be one of many different parts of your house. You want just the most compelling, most interesting, most curiosity generating photo that you can think of to be your very first photo in your hero photo because they're gonna see it's small. You want something about that small version of that photo to be clickable, be like, wow, I wonder what, what's going on with that. Is that a hot tub or, you know, is, uh, what is painted on the wall there? You want people clicking because they're curious. More clicks equals better SEO performance on Airbnb overall. So just clickbait people with attractive photos that people wanna see the full size version of, right? That's number one. Now, if that is a photo of like your living room with like the TV and all the like the cool decor of your space, then you got your living room shot down, right? And living room is one of the five photos that you should have. Now, you should have at least one master bedroom photo in the list of the five, and that should be a king size bed, right? You should have a really cool bedroom shot. Now, you should have a kitchen photo with the pots and pans on the, like, on the stove, staged, ready to cook. You want a really cool like, this is an Airbnb ready to use the kitchen shot. That is a third photo that you wanna have. Now, if you've got a really cool yard or outside area or the outside of the house is beautiful, then having a positive external photo is important too. If your house doesn't like, like impress from the outside, you're gonna skip that one. But you would like to show that you have like a cool yard with stuff in the back, you know, like swings and things, if you have that to your advantage. Another power photo would be if you've got a great like bathroom, like a spacious bathroom with maybe a tub and a shower or you know something like that, and you can take like a good beautiful bathroom shot, you wanna take that great staged bathroom photo as another one of your like main reel of photos. Now you can also then include like if you've got a play area or extra amenities like a gym. Like if I have a gym in any of my properties, I include the gym photo as one of my five because it's a key amenity for people. Now if you have a garage, like say you have a house that's you've like a three two and you've got a parking 
um, parking space driveway with the garage. Open that garage door, clean it out the garage, and take a photo with the garage door open showing that there's actually garage parking. And that's a really good photo to have too. So you want diversity in these five photos, and you want that five photos to be like a fast version of the home tour, right? Hey, here's what the living room looks like, right? Here's what you're cooking with in the kitchen. Here's what that master bedroom looks like. This is where you're gonna be sleeping. Now, here's the backyard space or the front yard space or whatever else is compelling there. Here's how awesome the bathroom is because of course, you know, bathrooms matter, clean, fun bathrooms matter. Hey, here's the gym or here's the pool, like key crucial amenities. By giving that five photo tour and putting them as the very first five photos in your photo reel and then going through your normal home tour format, that way, if somebody doesn't flip through the photos right away, you give a great first impression and let your copywriting do the rest. But also, as people flip through, you can really impress them one photo at a time for your first five, eight, 12 photos. Now, Airbnb wants you to have more than eight photos in order to boost you up in SEO, because that's the number of photos that matter. So I would say your first dozen photos should all just be super impressive, diverse, and full photos. Do not take redundant photos of slightly different angles or slightly closer. Do not take photos directly pointed at the couch. Let, let me take a photo of this couch here. You wanna have well composed, like level across the room shots. You know, watch my other videos on how to take like Airbnb photos. You wanna do that. And you wanna make sure that you don't have any, like any photos that are just basically duplicates, essentially at a slightly different angle, or stuff that unsells your property. So if you've got a washer and dryer room, but it's kind of like disheveled looking, that photo may not belong in there. Like you maybe wanna show that you have a washer and dryer somehow without taking a photo that kind of looks messy or like, you know, disheveled. Um, for example, if you have an unfinished basement, like do not show a photo of the unfinished basement if it's kind of like grungy looking and it takes away from the magic of your house. There are some photos that are better left unset because they can unsell people from your space. Now, if you have more questions about photos, put them in the comments, right? I don't wanna keep you guys forever. Thank you for your time. And as always, I will see you on the other side.